potential blind spot in CCT measurement. Are we really measuring CCT from the center in ultrasound pachymetry? Placement of the probe on position 1 is the correct position, whereas 2, 3, 4 and 5 are wrong positions. So, to get a correct scientific explanation on performing CCT measurement, we referred the literature. We were amazed to see many studies avoided quoting how they measured the center, avoided their methodology too, or quoted a previous study for their methodology. The investigator seemed to have more authority on choosing the center, which can lead to bias. There is, however, only one correct probe position. So, coming back to what is the center in CCD, we have two different centers, the corneal vertex and the apex. The vertex is slightly nasal to the apex. When optical axis is used as a landmark, CCD apex is measured. When fixation target is used, visual axis is focused and CCD vertex is measured. This is an example of a fixation target usage in specular microscopy to measure the CCT. Corneal apex is slightly temporal to the vertex, as depicted here. However, the CCT difference between the two centers are less than 1 micrometers. In normal virgin corneas, they both are very close to each other and more or less the same. The literature showed both ultrasound and specular are equally reliable. But when it came down to variability between consecutive readings, we noted specular had more consistency than ultrasound which showed a difference of 20 micrometer approximately between its highest and lowest reading. Isn't the variability between one reading over another more with CCT by ultrasound? Has this fallen in our blind spot?